Hi, I'm Danny with Expedition One. I run the shipping and receiving department. I also do the install work for them here. Today we're going to show you the new dual forerunner swing out. It's a brand new process. It's very complicated in a sense for on my end. For you guys, it's very simple. All you got to do is reattach the arms when you get it, attach it to the back, and you're good to go. We're going to kind of go through step by step of what I do here and get it ready for you. So here's the first process. Okay, I'll grab the arm. I've got the grease seal in place, which is what you'll do. You'll put your lower um, bearing on. You're going to drop your arm into place. You're going to put your bearing on first. Get it somewhat sit in there. Then you're going to add your washer and your locking nut. It's a little tight fit, so you're going to have to work it. What you want to do is you want to get it in there snug. Then you just back it off just a, a hair or so. Then that's set, ready to go. Then I'm going to add the cap on there just to make sure that when you get it, it should go right on there. These caps are a little tricky sometimes. So you just make sure it clicks into place, tighten it up. So now it's assembled and ready to go to the next step. Now that the arm's on, we're going to show you a couple of neat little things. Here's our bump stop assembly with the nylon skids right here. Then you've got the patent pending handle right here. It's fully rebuildable, tighten, you can adjust it, do whatever you need to do. So the first thing you do, you're going to give the handle a little squeeze and pull at the same time, which releases it. Swings up out of the way. When it goes into place, it hits that bump stop, clamps down into place. It's a little tight at first, but that's okay. It will give a little loose at, after time, but you'd rather have it tight than loose. Now that we've got it all put together, now I break it down and get it ready to be shipped. This customer right here has the tilted tire mount. It's got the jack mount, and he's also got a jerry mount. So this way, it's all finished and ready to go. The final steps before it goes out the door. I've taken clean the product, I've bagged it, I've taken all the loose items and I put it in a box with all your instructions and everything like that. Then I stack everything on the pallet here so it's all intertwined and it's gonna get locked into place now. I'm gonna use banding, some foam, all that so that when your product gets to you, it's all in one piece and it's good to go. Now that you saw the way that I did it, now I'm going to explain why we do it the way we do it. This is nicknamed the doghouse. It's meant this way so that the shipping companies cannot stack anything on top of this. As you've seen, inside was hollow in this area. That way it prevents anything from being stacked and being crushed. Not only is the foam, the banding, and this box, make sure your product is nice and kept really good for you so when you get it, it looks like it did when it left here. <laughs> 